What's going on, everybody? Emmett Ferguson here, and we're going to, from, from learnfromgreatbooks.com, and the book that we're going to talk about that's going to get you coding here in the next hour is called Learn Python 3 the Hard Way by Z.A. Shaw. Again, that book is called Learn Python 3 the Hard Way by Z.A. Shaw, and there's a link in the description below that you can go ahead and check it out on Amazon. And here's the beauty of this book. I've been through quite a few uh, courses online. Uh, they've been they've been YouTube courses, uh, very professional level courses um, by companies like Google, been uh, Coursera, edX, very reputable teachers as well. And while those courses are very valuable, there's a very big difference between uh, video learning and learning from a book. And the first thing that came to my mind when I was thinking, can you really learn coding from a book? Is that even possible? And I, it, I found out through this book that yes, it very much is possible. And here's the thing is when you watch most of these video online courses, um, and I'm not downplaying the video courses. The video courses are great. Different learning styles, different teaching styles. Um, the video lessons are great. Uh, but this book gets you started much faster. And here's why, because when you're watching a video online, there's a certain certain level of, of hand-holding that needs to be done uh, when you're watching a video. And that's not, not, not a good thing, not a bad thing. Um, you know, it's, it all depends on your learning style. But at the end of the day, when you're watching a video, you're watching 10 to 20 minutes May, or five to 20 minutes explaining a simple function. So uh, for any of you who are watching who have not learned coding or for anyone who is just very basic, you know, there's something called a print function. And what that does is it prints out text. Now, when you watch a video, someone, uh, the, the teacher usually goes into depth about the print and why you have to have parentheses and why you have to have quotations and, you know, some of the uh, functions of the things that are inside. And then you have to figure out how to make that work into your program, right? You got to take that text and yeah, you can copy it, but there, there's a little bit more to it. Whereas Z.A. Shaw has come up with a very innovative teaching style. And let me compare the, the, the two styles. So on one hand, you've got that famous example of taking someone, throwing them in the deep end and, and seeing if they sink or swim. That's one way of learning. That's that would be an example of telling someone to install Python um, and tell them that if they don't learn how to do it, uh, do it and program, then they're gonna lose something big, right? Um, or they're gonna drown. So, and you or you might pull them out, but you're not gonna help them outside of that. So that's the, the sink or swim. Uh, mode of teaching, right? Works for some people, might work for certain activities, but, um, and maybe for some coders. But then there's the other side of it, right? There's the entire opposite side of the spectrum of learning. And that entire opposite side of the spectrum of learning is uh, the, the hand-holding, you know, gradually, slowly guiding someone. So that's giving someone floaties, giving someone a paddleboard, and then having an expert swimming teacher who can stand also slowly holding the person and guiding them across the water as you teach them how to kick and things. And that's the opposite side of the spectrum. And that's like hand holding. That's kind of where video comes in, you know, with the teachers that explain every little detail and in incredible depth. And some people need to learn like that. And that's OK. Um, I've taken courses like that. And even after they've guided me, I still have questions. You know, whereas the swimming, you might be like, oh, why do I have to kick my feet like this? What happens if I move, move my hands like this? And you get all these questions when you're watching videos. Um, but there's something else, else also in between, right? There's the, the, there's the hand holding of someone in the water with you with your floaties on and your kick paddle board. And, you, you know, you're paddling across the water slowly, safely, comfortably, you know, taking your time. And there's something between getting thrown in and into the water and then getting slowly guided. And that's where I would say this book comes in. You know, for people that don't mind getting thrown in a little, who, who don't mind getting challenged, you know, maybe I would compare this book to getting put into the, the shallow end of a pool. You know, somewhere where you could stand comfortably, but maybe, you know, you got to raise your head a little bit. And 
there's a teacher who's standing outside who is saying, okay, start by kicking your feet. You know, just practice kicking your feet over and over. And then, you know, on the next exercise, it's paddle your hands and then practice what it feels like to paddle your hands up and down. And then, you know, it's take a, a step where you're a foot deeper and try to hold your breath to make yourself float. And then it's practicing these individual pieces. And then on the fourth exercise, he wants you to put it back together, swimming horizontally across the pool where you can stand. And it's not so much, it's not just throwing you in a deep end. It's not holding your hand every step of the way, but literally giving you exact exercises that you can practice to where, you know, you feel more confident real quickly. You start to pick up the skills really quickly, step by step, individual um, exercise by individual exercise. And I, you know, it's just a different learning style. I, I love this book a lot, this teaching style, because, um, you know, I've done the online courses, I've done the videos, I, you know, they come with great references and resources, and you can somewhat apply the same techniques. But when you've got it in a book format like this, this, this is a very innovative style. You know, my first impression of learning from learning programming from book, having uh, studied different programming techniques from videos, my first impression was, eh, you can't use a book to learn. You know, you, you can maybe use it as a reference, but with all the great references online today, why would you even bother? So, you know, I like the hands-on. I, I like to be, you know, explained all the little details. But here's where the book's also valuable. You know, if you're ever working professionally in coding, chances are there's not going to be someone there guiding your answer every single step of the way. And when you don't have that, then you need to learn the foundations and then you need to learn how to search for the answers. So where video might say something, and this is just really, you know, example. So this is going to be a little bit more advanced. Uh, a video might say, okay, import sys from argv. It'll tell you, to, tell you to write that out. And that's a little bit more advanced than print because most people have heard of print. But import sys from argv, what does that mean? Now, a video might explain, okay, well, import means this. You take it from your computer. Sys means this is the specific object of sys. From means from this. Argv is an argument variable, and this is what it means yada, yada, yada for 10, maybe 20 minutes. But with the book, you know, it gets, it gives you a paragraph on what it, what it does, what it means. You get to put it into action because this gives you the exact steps um, of how to write your script, how to write your program code or your program code. And then, you know, if you have questions, how to research it. So you don't need to watch through the whole explanation. This is great for people who maybe read quicker or people who, um, you know, want to start doing, applying, and then, you know, figure it out in, in, along the way in a guided fashion. Now, now, again, this isn't like throwing you into the deep end. This literally has these exercises of things that you might see online. So, for example, one of the first exercises that you see online is uh, print hello world. This, this is for every single programming language a video that is ever out there. The first lesson is to learn how to print Hello World. Well, with this, it's, you know, of course, there, there's print Hello World, but then there's what else can you do with that function, right? What else can you do with print Hello World? It might seem obvious, right, for that one individual idea. But once you move into more advanced topics, like adding variables, what else can you do with variables? What else can you do with these loops? And... While a video would have to spend hours, you know, 15, 15 minutes to an hour explaining what else can you do with it while also giving you exercises, this book has you literally write exactly what you can do with it and then gives you the challenging things that you can start practicing. So, you know, on one hand, this is, this is as much a learn with your own motivation type while also having a guided teacher along the way. Whereas, you know, the video, if you need something slower paced, if you need someone to go over each individual detail, you can find those videos pretty easily. But that's why I recommend this book for some people who might need a faster pace, for some people who want to, you know, seeing, want to start seeing further applications of the different ideas real quickly. 
and you know iterate over those things and be able to practice it, drill down piece by piece. Um, you know this will get you started really quickly. And what, what I think is great about this is Zede Shaw has come up with this innovative teaching style, and this innovative teaching style is I'm not going to say it's like none other. I'm sure he gets his inspirations from uh, certain certain things, which I think um, from learning learning how to play an instrument. But you know, it's, it's not about like like uh, like taking you and, and teaching you every single little detail. It's about having you literally write out the examples, the case studies, creating a, a fully functioning program that's maybe ten to. 20, maybe even 30, pay, uh, 30 lines long, which is pretty good for a beginning coder. And then, you know, breaking that down and then writing, writing your own. So, you know, whereas a video might say, okay, well, this is this function. And uh, so this is this function. And then this is what it does. And here's an example. Now, you know, go out and, and do it and try this exercise, try this puzzle. That's a great way of learning too. Um, but you know, the, the, the pace, right? Videos, you can still set the two, two X pace and, you know, double the speed of the video and everything. But when you're listening to theory, when you're listening to ideas, you're not really, you know, executing and putting things into action. And if you've had enough theory, um, you know, this, that's where this book comes in and it comes in really handy. It does it in a great way. So again, it's learn Python three, the hard way by Zed A. Shaw. Totally recommend this book. It's a very simple introduction to the terrifyingly beautiful world of computers and code. If you want like a, I would even, I don't want to call it a crash course um, because that suggests that the course is, is really quick and you're going to learn everything that you need to know. And maybe people who are advanced coders really just need a code a crash course to teach them, you know, all the basics of the language. And I think this could work for advanced people who, um, Want to learn learn code? Want to learn Python? But even if you're just getting started, you know, in the next hour you could be writing more advanced code than if you were to take a video course, because the video course is going to take, you know, 15. And this is excluding setup time, right? Whether you're doing a video or whether you're in a book, you still got to set up Python, install it. You know, say, say you take five minutes to uh, go on Kindle. In the link in the description below, go on Kindle, download this book. Five minutes. And then you take 20 to 30 minutes to install the program. That's 25, 30 minutes. And then you get to the first exercise in this book, first two exercises in the first 30 minutes, you're going to be writing more advanced code than if you were to spend an hour watching videos because an hour worth of videos, you know, they, they explain all the details. It takes maybe five minutes to 20 minutes to explain the details, explain the functions. You know, you, you got to also follow along and copy their code in the video. And then you got to, you know, try to keep up with the video and then you got to, you know, hopefully they have an exercise for you or you got to take the action yourself. This literally gives you all the steps right away. It's get, it gets you writing real quickly. Um, you know, in the, in the next hour, you're, you're virtually guaranteed to, to, to get up and running really quickly. Because with the video, you're going to have to set up anyway too. And then you're going to have to watch the step-by-step -step process. But um, with that... This is an amazing resource so far. Again, that's Learn Python 3 the Hard Way. There's even a book after this. So after you've done all the exercises in this book, exercise after exercise after exercise after exercise, written code after code, program after program, line after line, after you've gotten those steps to practice step by step and you put the pieces together and you start to build more advanced things, once you start getting that, he's not even got another book to, to get you up and running really quickly. So with that said, check out the link in the description below. Totally recommend it. Learn Python 3 the Hard Way by Z.A. Shaw. Um, and, and thinking the hard way, uh, you know, there's, there's the easy way of putting on your floaties, getting your little uh, kickboard, you know, putting that in front of you and having a teacher stand in front of you who uh, helps guide you across the pool. And then there's, and that can take a slow process because you got to take it, then you got to slowly take off, feel more confident. And, you know, for people who are intimidated by everything, yes, that, that might work for you. There are people who are afraid of the water and need that kind of guidance. Um, but for anybody who just wants to dive in, this is probably one of the most effective 
effective ways to dive in as quickly as possible. And, you know, speed isn't always great, but uh, if you believe you're a fast learner, if you, you know, just want to start playing, playing, programming, and doing right away, and, you know, figure out some more of the theory along later, this is valuable. And going back to the idea of, of learning, Right? Whether you want to have somebody there teaching you every single little detail or whether you want someone to give you what you have to learn and then you know, you're, you're a self-learner, you're willing to put in the work to understand all the different details yourself and you're able to do the research, that's going to take you so much further because th that's real applicable skills training right there. To, to take code and try to figure out things yourself. But again, this, it's not like there's absolutely no explanations here. There's great explanations here, um, but it's based on code and codes and programs that you actually write yourself. And I, I think that's a, a very innovative style of teaching. I think this is a great um, book for anybody who wants to start learning code. And, uh, you know, you're, again, I, I think this is one of the fastest ways to get started based on what I've seen from all the other video courses and training programs out there. One of the fastest ways to get started, actually start writing code and then apply it practically. I mean, it's literally like taking, like having a job, you know, somebody, somebody giving you the job of coding and you got to start looking at code and start writing it and start figuring it out as opposed to, you know, going in, watching a video and have someone train you on every single little detail. This one, you're getting the best of both both the training and the, that practical application of doing right away. So check that out. There's a link in the description below. Um, and I wish you success with everything that you're doing. Um, you know, wish you the best on whatever your, your goal is, whether it's creating the next uh, Siri Cortana Alexa, or whether you're creating a new program or video game. Wish you the best. Have a wonderful day. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. If you like this video, uh, leave a comment, share some feedback, and have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.